Hello everyone, back to you into today's fur video. We're doing an Ensembles Watch for today's fur video. So we're going to go through all 20 members of the GFS Ensembles to see what they're all showing into kind of the middle of uh, February. And uh, we'll start with your operational run and we'll go through all members of the GFS Ensembles. So, um... See what's going on uh, very shortly, just to say it's been a busy day, it gets well today. Uh, so we started with uh, Solar Sunday, we did our first Solar Sunday since August. Um, it seemed to have gone down very well, reviews seem to be pretty uh, positive about it, so uh, you seem to have enjoyed Solar Sunday. Uh, have a look at that uh, if you would like to do that. And also, uh, Gaz of Sunday Roundup was released uh, around lunchtime today. So have a look at that as well, if you would like to have a look at uh, Gals Weathered Sunday Roundup. Uh, right, so we're going to finish off with Ensembles Watch. We're going to go through all members of the GFS Ensembles, starting with the GFS Operational Run. And this is it. So we're beginning on Sunday. We're assuming that up to around next weekend, the pattern is pretty much um, locked in now, which is going to be high pressure dominating until around sort of Friday. And then low pressure begins to take over. So by Sunday, a week today, the GFS operational run has us under this strong westy wind and deep low pressure to the north of Scotland. That bring heavy rain across the country and some very strong winds as well. Let's run through and uh, see what happens. So we go through to early the 10th. We're into this cold northwest wind that could well deliver snow showers to uh, northern parts of the country. And we remain with this sort of cold zonal weather as we run up towards day 10. There's a little area of low pressure there, a secondary area of low pressure coming in across the country. Probably coming into quite cold air. So that's the kind of thing can bring some snow, see to snow, even to uh, lower ground um, and uh, perhaps a little bit uh, further southwards as well with that kind of feature in a cold zonal flow. We remain with these cold uh, westerly winds as we go to day 10. So that's how we're looking at day 10, which uh, today is the 12th of February. So still bringing in a west wind. It's a little bit milder with those uh, westerlies. Um, then, but uh, still very unsettled. Moving into the extended range of the operation run, notice heights are beginning to rise to our northeast. We saw this within the GFS operational runs when we did the Sunday roundup earlier on, both the midnight run and the six o'clock GFS run were raising the heights a little bit to our northeast as we head towards the middle part of um, February. But despite that, with the Atlantic so active, any high pressure over that tries to get going over Scandinavia is really going to have its work cut out because these areas of low pressure just carry on driving through. And so we finish up with the operational GFS run, which takes us as far as we can go Tuesday the 18th of February bring in an unsettled uh, westerly wind and looking reasonably mild at that point. So no change into the second half of uh, February with the GFS operation run. Right, let's have a look at the GFS uh, control run next. So this uh, is run at a slightly lower resolution compared to the operation run, but a higher resolution compared to all other ensemble members. Again, starting on Sunday, looking unsettled, bringing westerly winds, so bouts of rain, and um, probably a bit cold as well, as winds swinging to the northwest, so you have this cold zone weather. That area of low pressure... The secondary low is even further south with the uh, GFS controller. And that's the kind of thing that might bring a little bit of snow even to some parts of England in a cold zonal uh, west northwest. That would need to be kept an eye on. Uh, that's day 10, so it's the 12th of February and still looking unsettled with pretty chilly west winds. Quite stormy there around the 13th. That uh, brings a spell of gale force winds, particularly to the northern parts of the country. And then as we run towards the middle part of February, we start to re-establish uh, more of a southwesterly. So then it starts getting milder, particularly across southern parts of the country. Heading towards the end of the GFS control run, we look like that. Still unsettled, still driving in low pressure from the Atlantic. It heights rising a little bit to our north, but not enough to produce anything cold. Ensemble member number one looks like this. Wet and windy on Sunday and quite unsettled uh, as well. Beyond that, into the open part of the following week. So, Monday the temp, Tuesday 11th, we're into a cold uh, northwesterly, cold zonality. Definitely could be some snow showers driven in with those northwesterly north winds into 
Scotland. More low pressure as we go to the 13th of February. That's a proper old storm blasting away across the country there. And that turns wind into the north as it clears away. So we get a bit of a blast of northerly winds. And then high pressure builds in behind that low pressure, setting things down probably quite cold under that area of high pressure as well. We finish uh, with our solid member number one looking like that. High pressure's over top of the country. Probably frosty and dry there on the 18th of February. Ensemble member number two looks unsettled next weekend. Low pressure dries in from off the Atlantic. Stormy as we go beyond that and quite cold as well with those northwesterly winds. Um, that looks quite ominous for the 11th of February. Uh, beyond that, we keep those cold northwesterlies going. Uh, and then up to around the middle of the month, we start to bring in some milder winds from the southwest. So that starts to drag milder air up from the southwest. Uh, then high pressure sort of sits over the top of the country, setting things down. Probably going a bit colder and about high pressure by that point. Uh, we finish up under high pressure, uh, mainly dry and probably quite cold with frost overnight under that ridge of high pressure, I would have thought there on the 18th of February. Uh, ensemble member number three looks stormy for uh, next weekend and also beyond it, again bringing those cold uh, gale force northwesterly winds, they could drive snow showers into uh, Scotland in particular. We keep this cold zone weather going up to day 10 with more northwesterly winds heading out beyond day 10. Uh, low pressure just continues to drive in from the Atlantic as we get into the middle part of February. Grudgy heights are rising to our north as well but again the high pressure around Spain and France and ridging from the Azores that's keeping the winds generally westerly uh, it is trying to raise heights a little bit though to northern and eastern parts of the country that keeps us relatively mild up to the end of that GFS ensemble member run. Ensemble member number four, wet and windy uh, next weekend, introducing men a cold uh, westerly wind, cold zonality, and that looks very stormy there for Tuesday 11. That's the kind of thing that could bring severe gales across the country, heavy rain, and on the northern side of below, which in that particular instance is for Scotland and northern England, that could bring a bit of a dumping of snow as well. That gets out of the way. And uh, we just keep low pressure driving in off the Atlantic uh, again until we get towards the middle part of February. <clears throat> Excuse me, when we start to re-establish a milder southwesterly wind, we finish up with ensemble member number four still with winds in from the west. Ensemble member number five storming next weekend on Sunday, the uh, on Sunday the 9th of February. Um, keep those cold northwest winds going as we start to move up towards day 10 uh, as well. So a uh, very little change up to day 10. Cold zonal weather with those northwest winds probably driving in snow shower, particularly to northern parts of the country. You try to get a bit of a northerly going there around the 12th, 13th. But the Atlantic is just too strong to allow that for any length of time. Um, moving up towards the end of ensemble member number five. Again, heights are rising to our north and northeast, but we're not getting rid of this high pressure to the south. However, that is gradually, incrementally, day by day, beginning to get more blocked. So that's the first of what we're seeing that could, could, only could be starting to set up a genuinely cold pattern with high pressure over Scandinavia. And this ridge over France possibly could reach to the Scandinavian high and reinforce it. That's the first one that might, by the end of that, ensemble member be setting up something colder. Ensemble member number six looks stormy uh, next Sunday as we run through and head up towards day 10. We keep those cold zona winds going. This is that area of low pressure that uh, um, each ensemble member has in a slightly different position. Ensemble member number six has it going more towards France, uh, much further south. And uh, just keep low pressure driving in for off the Atlantic. It does turn wind into the north there as it gets around the 13th of February, only very briefly. And then milder southwesterly winds are uh, coming back at least for a time. Everything driving in for off the Atlantic on top of the of the six. That's how we finish up with a very mild southwesterly wind. Ensemble member number seven, very unsettled uh, next weekend. And then as we go beyond it again, it's looking unsettled with more low pressure driving in from off the Atlantic. Looking rather stormy, I have to say, through this period. And as we head into extended range, ensemble member number seven, that's another severe gale there, particularly in the north and west on Valentine's Day. That will be a Valentine's Day storm. And beyond it, we just keep low pressure driving in. There's no end, no end to it. Um, we finish up on the eight. 18th of February still with low pressure driving in from off the Atlantic. 
Ensemble member number eight. Again, unsettled next weekend. Low pressure in control of the weather. And uh, we keep uh, unsettled weather going as we move up towards day 10. Cold and quite stormy as well with low pressure just driving in with gale force winds and um, no doubt some uh, heavy rain as well and on the northern edge of the low probably some hill snow too. This one again having a go at raising the heights over Scandinavia beyond day 10. I don't think anything's going to come of it and what's actually happening here is that the high pressure is setting up over central Europe which uh, starts to pull up a very mild southerly wind. So that one's a taste of spring as we get to the middle of February. And we've got a sub member number nine looks unsettled as we get through uh, into the weekend. Beyond that, uh, cold, stormy, northwesterly winds, severe gale force winds, and as these areas of low pressure driving heavy rain. Uh, beyond day 10, a bit of a northerly there, um, sometime around the 13th, 14th. That's bringing in a brief shot of northerly winds before winds back into the southwest again. And uh, milder air begins to get drawn up around the middle part of the month and beyond it. Ensemble member number 10, halfway through, looks like that. That's a bit different for Sunday. So it's very unsettled. Low pressure is uh, to the southwest of the country. Um, but uh, we have got higher pressure across the eastern and uh, northeastern part of Europe. Let's see what happens with this one. So this one is really building up a Scandinavian high here. Uh, so we get today 10. We've got a proper Scandinavian high set up there. Winds are turning into the east across much of North Europe. We're still mild at day 10 with these areas of low pressure bringing more rain. This is a very different evolution, though. And look at that, the low pressure eventually digs southwards just beyond day 10. The wind turns into the east, so that starts to drag in much colder air from the east, potentially, uh, for a little while anyway, around the middle part of the month, before it all collapses, the Scandinavian high collapses, and we go back into milder westerly winds again, although... This is also having a go at building some heights up towards Greenland. So on some member number 10, <coughs> excuse me again, Ensemble member number 10 looks much more winchy. Ensemble member number 11, this is back to normal for next weekend, looking stormy with the low pressure driving in from off the Atlantic. And as we move up towards day 10, uh, again, low pressure continues to churn away from off the uh, Atlantic too. This one is also having a go at raising... Uh, Scandinavian high bear by the middle part of uh, by middle part of February, but again with the Atlantic so active and actually so active as it is this uh, winter, Scandinavian highs are going to struggle. However, we get in the second half of the month and it does have this high pressure of Scandinavia taking over. It's bringing in an easterly wind. It's a very mild easterly, but we've got there. There's no source of cold air, but it does have a Scandinavian high taking over from around the middle part of February with ensemble member number 11. Ensemble member number 12, unsettled next weekend, but not as stormy as some of the ensemble members that we've looked at up to this point. Again, this one looks like it's raising the heights over Scandinavia a little bit as we move up towards day 10. Although up to day 10, we're still mild with low pressure driving in from off the Atlantic. As we move into the uh, extended range on Sobel member number 12, winds remain from the west. Any uh, sort of forts of Scandinavian high are pushed back by the Atlantic. That one's a mild and settled run. On Sobel member number 13, uh, next weekend looking unsettled and uh, quite wet and windy too. Bit stormy there beyond next weekend into the following week. Heading up towards day 10, we remain flat and we see no hint whatsoever with this one of a Scandinavian high. Uh, we move through to the end of ensemble member number 13, heading towards the middle part of uh, February and beyond it. And that's how we look generally quite mild with that one. Ensemble member Number 14, again, very unsettled over weekend, quite wet, windy, and rather stormy into the uh, period beyond that. Again, cold zonal weather running up towards day 10, low pressure, continue to drive in from the Atlantic, severe gales coming in uh, with this one. Everything is looking quite westerly as well. You'll notice heading up towards day 10, uh, towards the end of our time, member 14, 18th of February, again, we've got the long fetch southwesterly as ensemble member. Number 15 is Atlantic driven next weekend, and they're going to cold zonal weather as we run up towards day 10, keeping, it, keeping everything flat up to day 10 and westerly, but a bit on the cold side too. 
Uh, running up towards the middle part of February and beyond it. Is there going to be any change? Not really. Low pressure just continues to drive in. By the end of oh, some November number 15, it looks like we're bringing down some colder air from the northwest. But the broad pattern remains the same. Low pressure is to the north. High pressure down towards Spain and Portugal. And on some of them, number 16, unsettled, quite stormy, potentially, uh, next weekend with low pressure driving in from off the Atlantic. That's a very, very intense polar vortex that we've got there around Greenland and Iceland driving in the westerly winds up to day 10. And into the extended range, uh, we've on some member 16, quite unsettled, weather continues. Does raise heights a bit to the south, so uh, it's not as stormy, but even so, low pressure continues to drive in. From the Atlantic, we remain generally quite westerly up to the 18th of February. Ensemble member number 17, again, looks stormy for next weekend. And as we go into the week beyond that, we start to pull down some cold winds from the northwest. And from the north, a bit of a cold snap there around the 11th, 12th of February. And we just keep low pressure driving in from off the Atlantic as well, uh, beyond day 10. Westerlies continue high pressure routed across France, Spain and Portugal as it has been all winter. Low pressure around Greenland and Iceland and the broad pattern continues up to the 18th of February. Ensemble member number 18 again stormy next weekend uh, and as we go beyond that up towards day 10 which is the 12th of February cold zonal weather continues the uh, stormy weather continues beyond that into the middle part of uh, February and beyond it we start to draw up some minor winds from the southwest with that one and then on some member number 19 penultimate least uh, wet and windy next Sunday uh, and then cold zonal weather running up towards day 10, which could deliver snow to the north with that cold zonal weather uh, around the 11th, 12th of February. Beyond that, winds go more southwesterly, so it gets milder into the middle part of the month, in the second half of the month. That's how we look as we end on some member of the 19 with uh, high pressure again, just for ourselves and drawing up that very mild southwest wind. And then finally, on some member number 20, very stormy next weekend, severe gales, heavy rain sweeping the country. You name it, it's happening. And beyond that, we go into a cold northwest wind, cold zonal weather up to day 10 for driving snow showers to the northern half of the country anyway. And then up towards the middle of the month, we uh, introduce or reintroduce a milder southwesterly wind uh, once again. And that's how we look as we get to the end of our song, member number 20. High pressure across France and southern England, low pressure up to the north. We remain broadly in west or southwesterly winds. No change uh, there. The last thing we can look at is the ensemble grass. So we'll just very quickly move over to that. All of this is at westcentral.d, by the way. Uh, and you have a look at 850 HPA and precipitation. That's how we're looking. So overall, uh, up and down, very zonal uh, in the extended range in particular. Um, and uh, unsettled as well as we get towards the end of this coming week. So quite dry up to around uh, sort of Thursday, Friday. Then precipitation bites begin to come back. Look at Leeds, by the way, that's the last place we looked at with this. Quite dry up to around sort of Thursday, Friday. Then the rainfall spikes come back and the second week up to the middle part of February looking very unsettled. Temperature-wise, rather up and down, indicative of zonality. Maybe a rather colder period there from around the 10th to the 14th. Just there might be a, a chance of a, of a day or two of northerly winds. But it all looks very up and down. Uh, as you would expect with zonal weather as we drive in the warmer and the colder sectors. And um, no change, certainly up to the middle part of February, possibly even beyond it. There were one or two hints of a Scandinavian high getting going around the middle part of February and up to the, uh, up to the second half of the month. But uh, again, with the Atlantic so active and the jet stream so strong, any Scandinavian high is really going to have its work cut out to stick, as we have established there with those ensembles. So for another week of this very mild and westerly winter, um, no change with ensembles watch. Right, that's it for your videos uh, for today. Tomorrow, I think we're going to start off with the Gavs Weather Vids February forecast. So that'll probably be the first video tomorrow. And then I'll have a week to 10 day video update uh, as well. But uh, for this weekend's updates, it has been a busy weekend of updates. Hope you've enjoyed them all. Uh, this weekend's uh, updates, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.